So it's pretty much a mess. So, let's just see what we get here today. And again, don't forget it's a holiday week. And we have to make sure this is open. Next two weeks are like holiday weeks with Friday's gonna be dead, Monday the market's closed. thing doesn't look like it's moving so spy is a lot bigger than the cues because they didn't even make it to the resistance level Friday the cues did the cues did a spy didn't really important week for the market to see if this is really going to be the end of the drop off, which I don't think it is, but it could be. All right, I'm watching save and for some reason it looks really weird. It has the volume, but it's not moving. What's going on with this? Is it just me or does this look strange? Is it just me or does this look like it's not open? It's not really moving though, Jeff. <laughs> this is like asleep here or something. This is a sleeper. Okay, this definitely isn't moving. What the heck? So let's talk, talk it through the market. I'm not shorting the market in a gap up. That's not what we do. So I'm just gonna put this out here. I did the market review this morning. If we start to fall today and fail, if we do it in the first five minutes of the day and hold, set the high of the day into the open, if we do that, I don't know if we do, it's only 9.32, if we do, we'll 100% retrace the bar from Friday today, close at the lows, gap down tomorrow. I'd love that to happen. It would mean a great week for us with trains all over the place, things to do, even into a holiday. I don't know if that happens, but that is one scenario that could absolutely play out. What's another scenario? Rally all week, rally for five days into a holiday weekend. No institutional money's buying this. It could happen. We could rally up another 10, 20 points. I won't be going long that, but I know that could happen. It would be follow through from the Friday rally. I don't think that happens, but today is a very important day for the market. All right, are we gonna do this or not? 23.50. Let's do 10 by 50, 10 by 50 save. There, do it if you wanna do it. Get this stuff at 50 and we're gonna to try to get this down to 2250. Take it here if you want, you can do it still, you can still do it right in here. 20, 30 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents, let's just get something out of it. I'm not gonna do the market because it gapped up. This is definitely open now. Do it if you want it, make sure you have the stop in. Twenty two fifty, I think is very reasonable, but I don't know if I'm holding it down there. I almost missed it. I was looking at the market. Here we go. Save. You got to be in it if you want to do it. Or you did it where I did. Here we go. Save. Save us. Save from a boring week. Twenty-two ninety. Oh, you know what else I wanted to look at? The other airlines. All these other things, yeah, look at them. Again, this gapped up with the market too. It rallied Friday, that was crazy. <laughs> All 
Oh my Lantia. If I'm right on my read of this market here after that rally Friday, which I, I wasn't worried about it. I just said, well, that doesn't make any sense at all. Here, save, you can be in it if you want it. Save, you didn't have to do it. You didn't have to do anything today. We're looking for a tiny target and save. We do have the market with us. It's 9.35. It's definitely open now. You could still do it. Stops 23.50. Again, we don't short bullish gaps, but the market's rolling over, and I'm very thrilled. I'm very happy. What else was there to look at? I think everything was up with the market. Oh no, Boeing was down. Uh, yeah. I have to get back to looking at that. I have to get back to looking at that. Okay, who's in save with me? It's a little baby. So it's bouncing tiny, 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 but it's not going to go anywhere up. Why? It's down. The market's down. Everything's down. John's in it. Make sure you have the stop in at 23.50. Let's double check it. I think it's fine. I just don't have, I just don't have high expectations for a big target in this simply because of the way that the stock normally trades. Like a dollar is a big move for this. <laughs> 50 cents, I'll take it. 40 cents, I'll take it. We got the market with us, 936. I will look at what data is out, but we got the G7 thing, really. That's not going on today. So we could get some movement into lunch here today whenever they go off and talk and speak and do whatever. So we could have some movement between 11 and 2 today in the market because of that. Warren's in it. A little baby one yay forgot to look at this i don't know if i want to have done it i probably wouldn't have done it i probably wouldn't have done this over save though to be honest with you but it worked it worked and we got to get back to looking at that ba again here save 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 let's not miss our exit here whatever i make i make it was really not much to do today i'm thrilled about the market i'm going to be cautious this whole week cautious all next week just because we have the holiday Market's failing. It's 937. Set the high of the day into the open. The market's going to retrace 100% of the bar from Friday. And you know what's going to happen? I mean, everyone that said Friday, which I didn't, oh, this is it. This is a rally. This is, we're higher. That's so low. Then they'll change their tune. People have no conviction. No wonder they lose. You got to have conviction. Here we go. Save. One more push and I might be out of this though, people. Like I seriously might be out of this at 80. That'll be like 30 cents for me. Uh, it's a holiday week. We do what we can. It's like I, I can't magically make these things come in and into thin air. We do have Nike tonight though. We do have that. We can look at that when we're done. Back. Let's look at that right now. Let's take a look at that right now. This is falling today with everything else. Actually, this gap down. So I would love a beautiful gap in Nike, preferably to the downside, but it could be up. I don't know. This is out tonight. 2380 or 2280 it is. It's 2280, yeah. I mean, we were down last night, like not like a little, like we weren't flat. Like we were down like a hundred points last night and I went to bed and I was like, okay, fine. And then we flipped in the morning. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a volatile market. You have to pick one direction, stick with it, stay with it. Again, it doesn't mean that every trade works like, you know, cause sometimes things don't go as fast as I want, but if you know what you're doing and stay on it, you're going to make so much money more so than the ones that don't work. And we've done that this year and we're going to continue to do it unless I see otherwise. That's why I said this week's important for the market. Carrie thinks this is going to 22. Well, you're going to be sitting all day in a snail then, Carrie, but that's okay if that's what you want to do. <laughs> I'm not going to be in this at 22 unless it falls right now. 
You heard rumors that Wall Street is starting to have layoffs. Everyone has been laying off people. What's the biggest expenses for companies? Payroll and then real estate. And they've been saving money with real estate by having people work from home. That's why that work from home thing is gonna continue. It's, that's devastating for a city like New York though, to not have people back in the office. It's, it's a problem for this city, for the tax base, for just for businesses thriving. I don't wanna see businesses go out of business. Places I like, places I love have gone out of business and they've not come back. They may never come back, it's sad. I already plan Friday, I'm going to the spa. I have a gift card and I've been wanting to go. And they have, they've had closed since before COVID. They have like a jacuzzi and a spa and like a, all these other things, a relaxation room. They've had those other things closed because of COVID. They just reopened them. Can you believe it? It's like, Wall Street should be happy with the volatility, 92. Well, it depends what your bias is. Depends what your job is. If your job is investing money for long-term for retirement, you're not doing so well. Because people bought a lot of the dippies. Here, save, save. We are gonna get it to 80 at the very least. Let's watch it. We're gonna get out of this soon. Hold, hold, hold until we get one more push and then we're gonna be out. Maybe we can get it to 75. Good find here today. It's like finding a rabbit out of a hat. <laughs> Literally. Come on. It's a magic rabbit. Here. And then we are gonna have the lecture day and those other two gaps on targets. Here, save. Yay, there it goes. Yay. Done, do not care, that is good enough. Great job, and good start to a holiday week. Carrie, if you wanna hold it down to 22, good luck, my man. Uh, yeah, I saw that, I saw.